بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی زدنی علما السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو آن لائن کلاسز آئی ایم آپ دا یونس انساری یور انگلش ٹیچر The topic I am going to explain today is punctuation. So let's start here. Dear students, what is a punctuation? Punctuation is the name of the marks used in writing. For example, capital letters, full stop, comma, question mark, exclamation mark, and so on. I have mentioned few of the punctuations here. So we will go for the same punctuations. First of all, we will discuss about the capital letters. Capital letter is used at the beginning of a sentence and a capital letter is used with the proper nouns. For example, cycling is a good form of exercise. So first letter is a capital, C is a capital here. The second sentence is Roger is a good tennis player. So R is capital for the Roger. So this is a use of a capital letter. So don't forget to use a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence and go for the proper nouns. Roger is a proper noun here and cycling in the cycling we use at the start of a sentence. The second one is full stop. A full stop marks the end of a sentence. While reading a sentence we need to pause after a full stop. For example, Cycling is a good form of exercise. Sentence ends here. So we will put the full stop at the end of a sentence. And other sentence again here. Roger is a good tennis player. So we will put the full stop at the end of a sentence. And we will take the pause here. The third punctuation is comma. Comma is used to separate three or more words in a list. For example, I have many dresses, bangles, sandals, and jewelry. Mm -hmm. The second one is, comma is also used after introductory words such as yes, no, hi, well, etc. Example is, yes, we are fine. Mm -hmm. The next punctuation is a question mark. You can see the question mark. A sentence that asks a question ends with a question mark. A question mark is needed after a direct question. For example, how many students are working? Question mark. Where are you? Question mark. Another punctuation is exclamation mark. We use exclamation mark at the end of a word or a sentence to show strong feelings such as surprise, anger or joy. For example, wow, what a beautiful dress. Another example is a loss. My doll is lost. So, we can use exclamation mark after our feelings. If we So dear student, for the better understanding of punctuations, I have aligned a video for you. Go and watch that helping video for the better understanding of punctuation. And after that, we will have to solve some exercises from our books. Dear students, now open your textbook page number 81, exercise C. And question is, punctuate the following sentences. So you have to punctuate the sentences on your books with the colors. So first sentence is the city of Multan is in South Punjab. So firstly, we have to make the first letter capital and put the full stop at the end of a sentence. So we will make the every uh, first letter capital. The first one is the T is a capital. The city of Multan. Multan is a proper noun. So we will make M capital and other word is south south is also a capital so we'll 
make the s capital and we'll put the full stop at the end of a sentence the second one is i will go to school tomorrow in this sentence the first letter will be capital and at the end of sentence we will put the full stop the third one is ahmed is zara's brother ahmed is a name of a person is a proper noun so we will make the first letter capital a will be capital another word is zara zara is a proper noun so we will make z capital and we'll put the apostrophe here because it shows the possession zara's brother and we'll put the full stop at the end of a sentence the fourth one is oh how cruel he is it shows the emotion so we'll put the full stop at the end of a sentence and at the start of the sentence we'll make a capital and we put the exclamation mark after o because it shows the some feelings and after that we have to make the letter capital h will be the capital the last one is fifth one is when will your friend come here so first letter will be the capital here w will be capital and at the end of sentence we will put the question mark because in this sentence a question is asked when will your friend come here so do it with your colors now open your workbook page number 46 exercise e and the question is punctuate the following sentences with capital letters full stop question mark comma or exclamation mark the first sentence is saba get me a pencil please first letter is already capital so we'll put comma after saba and full stop after please number 2 is take care of your bag mehreen the first letter will be capital of t take t will be capital here and after bag we'll put comma the third sentence is how naughty this boy is in this sentence some feelings are shown so we'll put exclamation mark at the end of a sentence and the first letter will be capital h will be capital here the fourth one is mr talha invited mr and mrs rana for dinner m will be capital at the start of a sentence and again m for mr and m for mrs will be capital and we'll put full stop at the end of a sentence number 5 is when will you come back from the party the first letter will be capital w will be capital here and at the end of a sentence we'll put question mark because a question is asked in this sentence the last one is we had parents pupils teachers and guests attending our concert the first letter will be capital of we w will be capital and full stop is already here dear students do this exercise with the help of your color pencils now open the next sentence is can we play in the park so first letter will be capital of can c will be capital here it's a question mark we'll have to put the question mark at the end of a sentence again next sentence is why are you shouting the first letter will be capital of why and at the end of a sentence question mark is already here the last f sentence is we saw a blue bird the first letter will be capital w will be capital here and at the end of sentence full stop is here use color pencils to rewrite the sentences dear students this is a time to assign a letter homework to you you have to do some exercises on your textbooks workbook and practice book on textbook you have to do page 81 exercise c with the help of this video on workbook you have to do page number 46 exercise e and on practice book you have to do page number 15 question number 1 
you can take the help of this video. Do your homework neatly. This was for today. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. We'll meet with a new lecture on a new day. Till then, take care and Allah Hafiz. Thank you.